Hello, today I'll be teaching you how to make ER diagrams in Visio 2013. So once you've opened Visio, you'll get something that looks like this, with a variety of templates to choose from. To make the ER diagram, choose the Crow's Foot Database Notation. And if you don't see that, just click on Blank Drawing and I'll take you through additional steps to get there. So once you've opened the Blank Drawing template, you'll see something that looks like this. Click on More Shapes, Software and Database, Database, and Crow's Foot Database Notation. After that, you'll see a variety of tools have popped up under Shapes to the left, which includes Entity, Primary Key Attribute, Primary Key Separator, Attribute, and Relationship. You can drag and drop any of these tools to the right canvas to build your ER diagram. So let's begin by dragging and dropping an entity table to our canvas on the right. The default for the entity table is the name, a primary key attribute, and then two additional attributes. You can click on, just double click on any of these to rename them and you can also add more attributes or you can delete the attributes. This is very customizable. Drag another um, entity table and I'll go, I'll go through an example of a university ER diagram with you. So here I've dragged another building table um, onto the canvas. And because the building table links to the university table, I have a university ID as one of the attributes and I want to give that a foreign key. So I would right click on the attribute and you can see you can set additional foreign keys and additional primary keys and you can have both. So after we've done that, we want to drag and drop a relationship line between the two tables. This line can be positioned anywhere. You can also reposition the ends of the line to attach to anywhere on the table that you want. Right click on the line and um, set the beginning and end symbols to whatever you want the relationship to be. After that, double click on the line to name it. It basically describes the relationship between your two tables. So here I have a university is made up of buildings. And some of the other tools you can see are primary key attribute, which if you drag and drop that over to the right, you'll get an additional primary key. And then primary key separator is basically the dotted line you see in the green box which separates the primary keys from the other attributes. And an attribute is basically any information useful in defining the object. So I have additional attributes under university and also under building, which basically describes either the university or the building. So for university, I have types of university and size of university, which describes um, university. So after you've done all of that, you can go ahead and build your ER diagram and I will go through an example of what an ER diagram might look like. So we start with university and then um, each box will have a primary key. A primary key is basically something that uniquely identifies a record in the table. So uh, for university, um, you can just name it uh, after the name and then just add ID to the, to the end of it. So I have university ID as my primary key. And then from the university, um, the relationship says one or zero university educates one or many students. And then the student table actually connects to two additional tables. It'll, um, this is because the relationship between the student and courses are one student can have many courses and one course can have many students within the course. This is a many-to-many -many relationship, thus you need an associative table. The associative table I've put in is the enrollment table you see here. 
and this basically just makes um, it easier to describe the relationship between the student and the course table and so make sure you have associative tables with any many-to-many -many relationship and now we have one and only one student is enrolled in zero or many courses one and only one course has zero or many students enrolled within the course under your, your associative table you want to add two the two primary keys from the tables that it links it or the tables that it's linked to so I have student ID and course ID and those will both be a foreign key and a primary key going back to the university um, one zero or one university is made up of one or many buildings and one and only one building contains one or many classrooms one and only one classroom contains one or many courses and that's all that is to it Visio is actually pretty easy to use you can customize anything you can delete any of the attributes or you can resize the boxes it's fairly easy. Thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful.